Hello everyone, my name is PJ and welcome back to my blind Let's Play of Resident Evil Director's Cut, Part 11. Okay, so between episodes I wasn't really able to do much. Because, well, as soon as I step out this door, we get a radio cutscene, so I had to stop and reload because I didn't know if it was going to be any different from Joe's. It probably will be, who probably won't be, who knows. But either way, I gave this whole building another once over and was unable to find the key to that other desk so I'm guessing it's not here I'm gonna have to come back after I find it if I find it so out the door we go yep like so this is Chris Brad, can you hear me? Damn! Hmm. Yeah, I really don't get the point of the radio. Why do we have it? It was never of any use in Joe's story. But yeah, I never got to finish my thought in the last episode about the uh, helmet key. What I want to do uh, is instead of examining it, I want to try manually using it on a helmet door. Just to see if he'll do it, you know? found it. It wasn't even sparkling. Who the hell would think to check that bell? Whatever. Let me just go back and use it. I'll, sk I'll sk cut this whole part out. It's probably just going to be shotgun shells. Oh. It's increments. Even less useful. Oh well, at least I got him, so I don't gotta worry about him. Okay, we're back in the mansion. It's time for the hunters to appear. <sighs> yeah. I noticed they originate at the ladder down to the underground. Which is where a lot of them are. I think for now I'm just gonna ignore you and do this. Nope. But then there's another one in here, so. You gonna jump at me? Come on. I know you wanna jump at me. Oh well. Fuck you. I'll put some bullets in the back room. Use them in case of trouble. Wesker? Really? What? Okay, what are the chances of Barry and Wesker having the mind to write the exact same message? And leave the exact same items? Uh, whatever. Shotgun shells. First aid spray. Can't carry anymore. Yeah. Some pistol clips. I have so much pistol ammo and nothing to use it on. I guess I can start using it on the zombies once I find them again, but it's going to be hunters from here for a while now. So I might as well put the pistol away. No point lugging it around if I'm not going to be using it. And I'll carry some first aid spray on me as well, because I know I'll need it. Okay, so let's think about this. I could just go straight to the snake. I could. Just gotta take care of the hunters up here. Wait! I can take out those hunters upstairs with the pistol. Save shotgun ammo. This is a good idea. He said before everything went to shit. Yes, yeah, so let me just get your attention. <laughs> okay, face the stairs. Well, that was easy. Only six pistol bullets to kill you? Wow. Okay, now for this one, I gotta walk backwards in order to escape its grasp. Nope!
Awesome. <sighs> I'm not going to have that kind of luck with any other hunters, so I'm going to go put the pistol back now. Okay, I forget. Is there going to be another hunter over here? No, okay. Not like it would give me a warning anyway. Nothing in here. Did I already take out the zombies that reappear here, or do they only appear here if you fight them between the snake and plant 42 bosses? Hmm. Weird. You have used the mansion key. Yeah. See, he just uses it automatically. I don't even have to examine it. Huh. Weird. Okay, time to fight a snakey boss. I should have brought a blue herb with me. God damn it. Mm. Oh well, it's fine. What's the matter? Can't detect your immediate left? Ah, whatever. Come on, I was dodging you before. And he's dead, and I'm not even poisoned. All those bites, and you didn't get to poison me? Weird. Nothing in the basement with zombies. I don't need any healing items. It's too dark to see. Will you jump down? Jump down! Chris is so stupid. Let me just go back, grab a healing item for the road, because I'll need it, apparently, since they're not going to let me come back up from this, are they? Jump down. What the fuck? You know, I really hope that it's like a hilarious, jokey, meme kind of thing in the Resident Evil community that Chris is an idiot. That would be so cool. So much for poison. I can't think of anything in the laboratory that causes poison, and the only things left that cause poison are the spiders. Well, there is still the one giant spider boss, who no one's given me a proper name for yet, so I'm just gonna keep calling it the Titan Spider. Yeah, but blue herbs don't come up very often in this game, do they? I wonder if growing your own herbs is a thing in the later Resident Evils. That'd be really cool. It's too dark to see you jump down, I guess. Just hop down a whole story. No problem, apparently. There's a switch below. Will you push it? How about no? How about I just die down here? Whatever. Seriously, who's gonna hit no? There's a ladder. Will you descend it? <sighs> Will you do the only thing that you can do? No. Okay, come on. Now there's a zombie. Just make him appear on camera, please. Oh, he's going over there. Come here, buddy. Okay, now there's one in here, too. Hiding around the corner. Guarding these shotgun shells. So many shotgun shells. Okay, and then in here we find a couple of zombies munching on a dude. Use this way to take care of this to lure them over to me. Ta-da! And a couple of herbs. Okay, and then over here is the kitchen. Yeah, am I gonna be able to get the battery without getting that passcode? So weird. What's that?
Oh, it's a desk key. Okay, let me mix a couple of these herbs and pick that up. At least that one sparkles. God. Now, about this zombie over here. Yeah, that's right. That's revenge. Now, can I call this elevator from down here? I can. So I can just go right up to the second floor and get the battery without needing the passcode, exactly as I thought. Hmm. But then, can I get out of this area? Shit, the zombies. Uh, I told myself I'd use the pistols on these guys. But it looks like this is the only way to... Hmm. Fine, let me just... take care of you. And I'll come back for the other guys... later. Batteries in there. Uh... Ooh, that was close. Yeah, all right, let me just go back down the elevator. I have a lot of stuff to pick up up here. So I need a safe path to my chest. So we can take out this zombie over here at the stairs too. Now see, this time I kind of get it. It seems like this is the only way out of this place. Because the door on the second floor is locked with a passcode, which I don't have. And you can't climb back up the rope. But still, it's just a zombie. How many of these have they fought by now? Do they really think it's that scary? Okay, yeah. Elevator doesn't stop on the first floor for some reason. That doesn't make any sense. I mean, because by the time you reach this room, which is locked from the inside, you've already ridden the elevator from the bottom to the top. Why can't it stop on the first floor? I mean, the dining room is on the first floor. I know the elevator is there so that you can bring food from the kitchen to the dining room. <sighs> I don't know, maybe Wesker sabotaged it or something. Did a shit job of it, though. Crap. Shit. Shoot them! God! Why won't you shoot? <sighs> I hate this hallway. I hate these hunters. I hate the camera angles. What? More pistol clips? What? But I already picked up these ones. I guess more appear here after his corpse disappears. Weird. Hmm. Oh, I have a couple more of these things I have to kill, but I got healing items, so I'm good. Come on, I know you're there. Ah, I shot up too late. God damn it. I hate you guys so much. <sighs> Fucking camera angles! They're the worst enemy in this game. I have so many more of these things to kill before I reach my chest. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to run past these guys for now. That one in the corner didn't even notice me. <sighs> God damn. You know, if I go upstairs from here and get the red jewel, do I still get the Colt Python in this story? 
Hmm. Either way, I should check to see where the tiger statue is hiding. Uh, but first, let me take care of these guys outside. I need this hallway to be clear. There, that's one. You didn't act at all like the others. Weird. Okay, very quickly running out of shotgun ammo. I'm gonna go upstairs real quick. God damn it, I knew you were there and I couldn't do nothing. There. Gotcha that time. Use the mansion key. Okay, let's see what's here. Yeah, orders. Much needed shotgun shells. Magnum rounds. Oh yeah. Yes, yes, that is what I want. Red jewel. Okay. And I've already cleared the path to the tiger room. So let's go make a trade. Uh, I never used the Colt Python in my previous playthrough, so... Yeah. Definitely gonna take out all of these hunters with this bad boy. To go that way, God. I'm gonna be using the gold python on all of these hunters. Fuck them. In fact, let's take it for a test run. I know there's another hunter just upstairs. Well, I missed the first shot, but I got him. One hit. So awesome. <sighs> now, about this door. Do I ever get the passcode? Hmm. How strange. Okay, screw trying to kill the zombies with the regular pistol. Now that I have this, I can use the shotgun exclusively on zombies. Yeah, so let me put this key away for now. Just for now. I remember there's a small desk in the library, so I'll bring this. I shouldn't really need to bring this, actually, because I don't think there's any hunters upstairs. Oh, that's four already. Oh. Yeah, I just need to bring my shotgun, really. Or right, maybe I could just mix a couple green herbs to heal myself to full. And then I don't have to carry this around. There we go. Alright. Back up to the second floor. From the basement. Because that's the only way to do it, for now. This is still really inappropriate music. Oh no, it's a kitchen. I hope I don't cut myself in the blunder. herbs here. If I'd remembered that, I wouldn't have bothered healing myself. Is there anything in this corner? Never examined it. Okay, nothing. Okay, this is the, yeah, desk key. Okay. And Magnum Rounds. Fuck yeah. One thing I never actually said was that uh, ever since I first learned how to shoot zombies' heads off with the shotgun as Jill, the means that I use to determine whether or not they're close enough is our shadows. They're big, black, ovular shadows, so what I do is I just wait for them to get close. That's how you know the zombie is close enough. 
scrapbook. Oh yeah, this. For some reason I thought this was the uh, Blue Doom book. But I don't find those here. Ink ribbon. Pistol clips. God damn it, now my inventory is full. Oh, I didn't even examine that. He automatically looked at the window. Huh, that's different from Joe's story. Weird. Maybe he just has ADHD like me and is easily distracted by windows. <laughs> I forget. I don't think there's any zombies in this room. I also learned when replaying this part as Jill that you do not have to turn this light on. The switch is there no matter what, which makes perfect sense. So you can just push this statue here. As long as you know where the switch is. And the MO disc that I cannot carry because inventory. Well, let's just eat this. Ah, oh, god damn it. Fine. I'll come back for it after I deal with the zombies in the nearby hallway. Wait, there's more herbs in there. Uh, maybe I can unlock the passcode door from the other side. Yeah, lots more herbs. Hey, buddy. Uh, you're still alive? Oh well. At least I'll get some use out of those herbs. Are you, are you serious? Did you see what just happened? I was sh I tried to shoot him in the head. Accidentally shoot him in the chest. He fell down to the ground and started munching on my knees. Wow. That was bullshit. <laughs> the door is locked. Of course it is. God damn it. Uh, getting here takes so long. Fine. I'll go all the way back, clean up my inventory, come back for all the herbs and the disc, and then pick it up from there. So, be back in a bit. There. I got everything. Got all the herbs, got the ammo disc. There. Now, let me get my cold python out. My mansion key. Magnum rounds. Actually, there are no more zombies, so I don't need the shotgun right now. So let me just put that away. Blow up some hunters. <laughs> okay, let's, let's check the map and see what I have left to search. That's the secret closet, so I can't go in there. Not until New Game Plus, anyway. Uh, I still need to get the door near the other storage room. I have a lot of hunters left to kill. Basement's already cleared. Oh yeah, I still need to get the... I went all the way back up there. And I didn't get the closet. Let's go back again. You know, I'm gonna get the passcode for that door, and then I'm just gonna be pissed off. And maybe Chris never gets the password. Maybe I missed the password. Why does Joe go down that hole at all? Why can't it just be like she gets into that section of the of the building because she gets the passcode? And then Chris gets into the section of the building because he goes down the hole. Instead, Chris gets both. And not, not Chris, Jill. Jill gets both. Chris gets the worst one. 
Ah, uh, what I wouldn't give to be able to go up that rope. Get to the other side of the mansion faster. Uh, here's the fucking closet. Let's see. Shit ton of shotgun shells. For a shotgun I'm not carrying. And a battery. Now I get to go all the way back down the elevator, up the stairs, to my storage chest, etc, etc. Maybe I'll skip going to the storage chest and go straight for the other room. Not that it really matters, because I don't really need to clear a path to that room. As soon as I get there, and as soon as I take care of my storage chest stuff, I'll be done with the mansion forever. So far as I can tell. Now let me think. There are a shit ton of hunters in the first floor hallways. And I've already taken care of some of the hunters in the second floor. So the second floor hallway is probably the safest path to go. No use the least ammo. Oh, I should probably also check, um, where, what was his name? Forrest? And Richard? Yeah, their corpses? Should probably check to see if they left any more stuff behind. Because their corpses just vanish. No, nothing new here. For some reason. Hmm, I wonder where their corpses went. I mean, not a trace of them was left behind, so... Ah, now maybe secret umbrella agents came and took their bodies away. None for you. Right, I'll get you in a second. I wanna go in here real quick. Nothing. Hmm. Did I just miss the clips from... What's his name? The first corpse? God, out of all... The corpses in the game. This is the name I remember the least. Okay, I have no idea how close that thing is, so... There you are. God, I love this gun. I love this gun so much. And now I finally get to use it. Boom. Didn't even have to look at you and you're dead. Right, goodbye, helmet key. Uh, this room. This room that I've been in a million times. Because I kept dying in Joe's story. Take that. Now I'll take this book. Then I will read the book. And as soon as I'm done reading it and folding the corners of all the pages, I'll return into the library to piss someone else off. Okay, I don't think there are any storage chests in the underground section, so I'll need to bring a weapon that I'll be using on all the enemies. I believe there's nothing but hunters in the underground except for the Titan Spider. Oh, I need to bring my combat knife so I don't get, I don't have to pick up a new one. Mmm, I also need to bring this, won't I? God damn it! Let me put the shotgun shells away. There's the first aid spray in the underground as well as ink ribbons. Speaking of which, I should probably save. It's been a while since I saved. I don't need to bring any of the ammo discs or anything. Not yet. God, I haven't saved this entire session. <sighs> Alright. Then I'll just put these ink ribbons away. And... All of this is stuff that I have to bring with me for the underground. I'll be using that right away, so that'll clear up some space. And... I think... There are herbs... Right at the end of the dungeon. Wait, no, there is a storage chest down there. Okay, I remember it now. I remember. I can leave this here. Yeah, so for now, these are all I need. Yeah, it's at the end of that hallway with all the snakes. Right past the Titan Spider Room. That was probably my least used save room, so... 
Makes sense that I would forget about it. Okay, if I recall correctly, there's gonna be a hunter right here in this hallway? Seriously? Why would you jump if you're nowhere near me? God damn it, I need the crank. Uh, oh, that reminds me. Who am I going... Am I going to be accompanied by Wesker in that one scene in the underground? Or will Rebecca show up? Hmm, it'll probably be Rebecca. It has to be. Because I'm pretty sure Wesker is the one that shoots that guy from the darkness. And then he leaves the crank behind. The other crank. Okay, battery. That reactivates this lift. Go back up, use the crank. And then I can go down. Now I just need to go back to my chest again. Put this crank away. I probably don't have to. Should have enough inventory space to get everything down there. But I'm just being safe. Who knows, maybe there'll be a new item down there specifically for Chris. Then again, the only time this happened so far is with desk keys, so I don't know. I don't even think there are any more desk keys. I don't remember any small desks in the laboratory, and it's the only place left. And I can't remember any small desks that I didn't unlock. Okay, down the ladder we go. Yeah, so there's a typewriter right over there. And we can't go any further without the other crank that's left behind. So now we go in here, and who's going to be waiting for us? It's going to be Rebecca or Wesker? It's nobody. What's this? Flamethrower! 240? Oh. This shit again? Will you put down the flamethrower? I might as well. Maybe there'll be like a broken flamethrower or something. Hmm. Anyway. I don't know if the hunters have appeared here yet, so I'm going to go this way first, because this is where the first aid spray is. I want to grab that real quick. Yeah, no hunters have appeared yet. Just going to come right in here and grab this. Good. Now I'll go this way. Huh, no hunters are appearing. Very peculiar. Enrico! Hmm? Don't come any closer, Chris. Wait, what happened? Double crosser! Don't! Uh, hell. Umbrella. Who is it? I is someone there? Hmm. Double crosser? What did he mean by that? Hmm, so he trusts Joe and Barry, but not Chris. Eh, makes sense. He couldn't have moved because of this injury. He's holding something. Regular old pistol clips. Great. Hi. And then on the shit. I was going to say. And then our mysterious assassin drops a crank. Right? Huh. That scared the shit out of me. Enemies don't normally appear here. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, what do I do? Yeah, what do I do about that flamethrower? I love this weapon so much. Come on, I know you're there. Hmm. 
flamethrower. So I think this door locks if I try and take the flamethrower. Which I don't have any room for anyway, so whatever. I'll come back for it. No way I'll forget that's there. Okay. Now does Crest have to run away from this border too? What is that? Another flamethrower? Huh. Yeah, he has to run away from this border as well. So I'll walk up to it, turn around, and start running. Easily avoided. <laughs> the gun kind of shakes on the wall too. That's pretty neat. Yeah, I knew you were there. I didn't forget about you. Now, normally there's fire rounds here. Magnum rounds. Oh yeah. That spider won't know what hit it. And here we go. Oh, come on. I was so out of the way. Whoa. Whoa, I blew this thing to pieces! I'm poisoned. Fuck, and I don't have any blue herbs. That's fine, I just gotta kill these things. I said kill these things. Then I can work on slicing the web away. Just gotta keep a close eye on my health. Very close eye. Okay, I think it's safe to use this now. Use that, go in here, go to my chest, get a blue herb. And that was pretty much the last thing in the game that can poison me. Apart from the snakes in this hallway. Ta-da! Handled like a professional. Well, maybe not. Professional on a bad day, maybe. I think there are more hunters down here? I don't remember. I'm gonna carry this around with me anyway. I need the crank still. I'm gonna put these away. Ink ribbons. A blue herb right there, because they knew I'd probably get poisoned. First aid spray. Everything you need to recover after a giant spider fight. Might as well save. I don't save nearly often enough. I'm getting some weird deja vu. Like, I've done this before and I've forgotten something incredibly important. I don't, I don't think I am though, but... I do know that I have to put these ink ribbons away. And then I need to go check out what the deal is with those two flamethrowers before I move on. I have not forgotten about the snakes. I know there's ink ribbons in this room. Right over here. Or not? Huh. Weird. Well, I know that item right there is the combat knife. Which I don't want. What about over here? Nothing. That's weird. There was an item in this corner in Joe's story. Hmm. Anyway, let's see. Flamethrower. It's locked. So odd. Do I have to put the shotgun here? Hmm. Let me go... Oh, I think I know how to solve this. Yeah, I got this. I know how to come out with both weapons. Need to just go grab my shotgun real quick. Wait. No, I don't think I can do this. I'm trying to think of how I can come out with both the flamethrower and the shotgun. 
and I don't think I can. Not without locking this door permanently. But you know what? I'm never going back that way anyway. So, to hell with it. I'm just going to take the flamethrower. I never have to go back in that direction. So, door's locked. Door's locked forever. Screw it. See, I thought... I thought that it wanted you to, like, swap the weapons around until you got everything that you needed without any of the doors you needed being locked, you know? So, what's the flamethrower for? Is it good on zombies? I mean, you should never light a zombie on fire. It's something these games never seem to get right. But I'm almost done with this little dungeon. And once I am, I'll call it an episode. And we'll do the entire laboratory in tomorrow's episode, which will... Well, Friday's episode, which will probably be the finale? It looks like... God damn it, really? So I had to put the flamethrower there? Do I need the other flamethrower for anything? Hmm. This is a very different puzzle. Jojen had to deal with this. So... Was there any way to get the flamethrower out of that other room? Hmm. Besides trading it for the shotgun? I mean, I don't really need the flamethrower. Yeah, if you do this part first, running away from the border becomes even easier than usual. Because then you can just duck in there. So, approach the border, turn around, and run away. Ta-da! Map in the underground. Ammo disc. Yeah, and when I redid this part as Joe, I did learn that this part of the wall right here really is the only part that comes out. I just got super lucky when I was pushing the statue. Because all I did was push the statue to the same axis as that switch over there. Like so. Then you can use the crank a second time, which I neglected to do, to get that out of the way. And then easily push this statue onto the switch. I said easily. Ta-da! Doom Book 2. Why the hell are they called Doom Books? It's even written in them. Okay, so, going up the elevator will finish the underground. All that's up there are a few herbs which I'll grab off-screen and migrate to my chest, and I won't use the meadows yet. I will save that for next episode, which hopefully will be the last episode. Because I can do the laboratory pretty quickly, just get it all out of the way, then we'll see Chris's ending, and then we'll very quickly go see what his alternate costume is. It probably won't be anything special. Probably be like a t-shirt and jeans or something. Which was basically the same thing Jill got, but it's a lot less, uh... It'll be a lot less interesting on a guy character, I think. Now, if it was something particularly interesting, like maybe a disco outfit or... A costume referencing another game. Ooh, like, like another Capcom game. Maybe... Reuse outfit from Street Fighter. I'm going off on a tangent now. But that is it for today's episode. So, thank you all so very much for watching. If you liked this episode, leave a like and a comment. I'm still just starting out, and likes and comments both mean a lot to me. If you want to be notified when I upload more videos, subscribe and you will. And if you want to support me on Patreon, there'll be an end card at the end of the video and a link in the description below. So, I'll see you all in the next video. The machine isn't working. Are you kidding? So it never would have turned on in the first place. I was looking forward to this puzzle.